I'm never buying another mirror ever again. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. Welcome back to another home decor update video, the series where I take you guys along for the journey of furnishing my new house. Well, I think I can still call it a new house. I moved in last summer, summer 2019. It is now summer 2020, so I have been here for an entire year. And I just like to show you little progress updates of me like decorating and furnishing my house. Honestly, I feel like progress has slowed down a little bit just because obviously there's been a lot going on in the world bigger, more important things. I feel like I've been distracted and I've just been working on other stuff, but I have added some things since the last video. So the first update is the ending of the broken mirror story from my last update video. First of all, if you have not seen my last home decor update video, pause this video, go back and watch it so that you can know what I'm talking about. I'll wait, don't worry. We left off that story with me not being able to really get in contact with Impressions Vanity, which is the brand that I got the mirror from, and just basically being stuck with a one, was it $200? I think it was $200 bill that I had to pay a junk removal service to come and pick up the broken mirror. So at that point I had no mirror. I was out thousands of dollars for the cost of the mirror and I was out an additional couple hundred dollars for the cost of removing the broken mirror. Now, unbeknownst to me, you guys, the squad, my subscribers, decided to take it into your own hands and go on Impressions Vanity's Instagram page and literally start blowing them up on my behalf. I did not ask y'all to do that, okay? I was not trying to cause drama. I was not trying to make a big scene, but you guys just decided. I mean, hey, I'm glad that y'all had my bag, and honestly, I think it worked because y'all were leaving comments all over their Instagram pictures being like, send Raven Elise a new mirror. You guys need to answer Raven Elise. You guys did Raven Elise dirty, like tagging me and everything. But I definitely saw like the comments on their page and I was kind of like, oh, oh, okay. So then after not being able to get in touch with anybody, I mean, I was trying to call, I was trying to send DMs, I was trying to send emails. They were not answering me. They were not being very helpful. The only thing I was able to do is get in contact with the shipping company that they use, who told me that since I bought shipping insurance through them, which I'm glad that I did, that they would then place a replacement order on my behalf with Impressions Vanity and that they should just, you know, send out a new one. So the shipping company was basically handling handling my return or at least like initiating the return, but Impressions Vanity still had to fulfill the order and send it back out. And nothing was being sent out, nothing was being fulfilled, no, no emails were being answered from Impressions. I finally get a phone call and it's like this lady and she's like, hi, my name is blah, blah, blah from Impressions Vanity. Um, I'm looking for Raven. And I'm like, yes, this is she. And she's like, yeah, so I received a memo from my, I think she said social media coordinator or something like that. She was like, I received a memo from my social media coordinator who told me that you had like an outstanding order or some sort of issue. And so in my head, I'm like, okay, so y'all not gonna answer just my regular emails and calls and messages with me as a regular customer. It took my followers to blow you up on Instagram and then your social media coordinator, the person who runs the Instagram page obviously saw that, looked into it and then sent a memo to this lady who I guess was like some sort of manager or something at the company and now she's finally calling me but you're not answering just your regular customer service messages it's only because my followers said who i was blew you up on instagram and the social media girl sent it through oh okay 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 so I'm like, yeah, that's me, like da 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 I explain the situation and she's like, oh, I'm so sorry about that. Yeah, let me pull up your order. Oh, I see here that the shipping service did place a replacement order, but it has not been fulfilled yet. It should be processed, like we should be able to process it within the next couple of days and you should be able to receive your order by this day. I'm so sorry about that, da 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 I'm like, okay. Now you wanna process my, my replacement, my, um, return exchange whatever it's called i've been hitting you up as a regular customer for weeks it's been crickets but now that it's turned into like a social media drama thing now now oh now all of a, now all of a sudden y'all can hear me okay i mean it worked 
they processed my order, they did ship it out. But then the other thing that rubbed me the wrong way is when they originally sent out the first mirror, it was so poorly packaged. You guys saw for yourself how poorly packaged it was. When they sent out this mirror, when this mirror arrived, it was all packaged with like extra protection around it. It had like extra things on either side to make sure that it didn't get broken. The delivery man was like so much more careful and so much nicer with the way he delivered it, with like properly getting it off the truck with the lift and bringing it to me and helping me open it and allowing me to check it before he drove off so that if it was broken, he could just take it back on the truck instead of just leaving me with a broken mirror like last time. Completely different experience. I was like, okay, so why didn't y'all just do this in the first place? Why don't y'all just treat every order like this? I don't get it. So, I mean, obviously I was happy that I was able to finally get in touch with them, finally get my order and it arrived in much better condition and therefore it wasn't broken. Like I'm happy about that. But I mean, shout out to you guys who hit them up on Instagram for me. I think that's really the only reason why, <laughs> you know, I ended up getting a replacement. They did not give me the mirror for free but they did reimburse me for the couple hundred dollars that I had to pay for the junk removal service because I told them about that. So they paid me back for that, but they did not pay me back for the cost of the mirror itself. So I still paid full price for the mirror. So there's that. But I got the mirror. My parents helped me unpackage it, bring it into the house and plug it into my closet. And it's not broken and it works perfectly. So here it is. Okay, you guys, so quick little closet update. Um, my light switches are over here behind the mirror. So just as a general refresher for you guys who may not have seen it, the main light switch turns on the main just puck lights in the ceiling. I do also have this other light switch right here, which turns on the lighting on my shoe shelves and it is dimmable. So I already had those two sources of lighting in here, but we brought in my mirror. So this is what it looks like. So kind of the issue was and why I really wanted this specific mirror, other than the fact that it's cute and I like the crystal border on it, but I wanted this specific light up mirror because when I stand right here, it's backlit. It's like the lighting in the ceiling is like behind me and the shoe lighting is behind me. So I don't really get like a super good look at myself. I had a plug, an outlet right here in the perfect spot on the wall. Hopefully y'all can see that back there. So the mirror just plugs in, that's it, super simple. And there's no mounting or anything. It's literally just a floor mirror that's meant to kind of be slightly slanted and lean up against the wall it's pretty heavy so if you just slant it right it's not gonna fall over like it kind of holds itself up that's kind of the placement and then it came with this remote which allows you to number one turn it on so that's what it looks like when you first just turn it on from there you can do all the way to the warmest tone which looks like this more of a yellow light or all the way to the coldest, which is kind of bluish. Or you can customize it to the exact temperature that you want by using the thing around and it's like touch sensored. So if you kind of want to put it a little bit in the middle or like slightly warm, like, okay, like that. So that's not too yellow, not too blue. You can do it like that. And then it's also dimmable. So you can make it a little dimmer, take it down a few notches, or you can make it brighter and turn it all the way up so that's the mirror and when you look up close at it the reason why i really liked it is the crystal border effect with the lights coming through that diamond effect and it still looks nice when it's turned off too and it's just perfect because like now i can see myself so that's the mirror situation final product i'm happy with it it was obviously a headache to get it here but now that it's here I'm happy that I have it. Overall though, just a general closet update since I did kind of reorganize all of my clothes. I wanted to show you guys what that looks like. So I don't know how different this really looks to y'all. Basically, I just kind of recolor coordinated this area which has dresses in it. I got some new pants hangers for my pants section. And it honestly, I think it helps to save space and it just looks cleaner and it just, I don't know, it's just better. So they're like these kind of hangers. So they're just like open on one side. So you slide your pants on and they're like really sturdy and heavy duty. And the other kind of hangers that I use for my regular clothes are just these 
black felt hangers. I get both of these off of Amazon for a really good price. I can link them down below for you guys. I like having all matching, helps everything just look super organized. These hangers save space. They also keep spaghetti strap stuff from slipping because the felt kind of like creates friction and it just looks so nice. Like look at the hangers, look at it, look at it. Whole closet, color coordinated. Love to see it. And then for the pants, it's kind of hard to see because these hang down, but same thing for the pants. Same thing here with my tops. And I ended up switching some things around. So this area is now holding blazers and button ups. Sweaters have been moved over here. Heavy coats are over there. Obviously winter stuff and stuff that I'm not accessing right now. Put it up higher because I'm not accessing it right now. You see where my jeans are. Super floor length stuff is over here in this floor length area along with all my extra hangers. And then we go around to the other side. This is where my hoodies still are, that's still the same. This is kind of like clubbing clothes. I don't know, like fancier going out, like little special tops like this and little two piece outfits. And then this is where I freed up space by moving everything else around and getting rid of some stuff to have this new section of my closet, which I'm calling current mood. So this is where I'm putting all of my new end pieces. So stuff that I recently purchased that I haven't worn yet that I'm excited to wear. And then also I went through my whole entire closet and picked out stuff that kind of matched with my new stuff. So it's like creating a whole little collection. And then I also switched the above area now my boots are hanging there. Got the Louis boots there. Got my custom Nikes that I crystallized in my TikTok video. Put those on display. And then just some of my um, lighter weight jackets are up there out of the way. I did a whole video touring my closet so you guys can check that out if you want a better look at it. And then also if you wanna see like what's in the shoe dungeon, I did a whole video on that already. Nothing much has changed in there. But I do also think that it would be nice to put a little cute rug in here and even like a little ottoman so I can sit down and put my shoes on and stuff like that. So those are two things that I might still add. So yeah, I do really like the mirror. I am glad that I finally got it and I am like relieved kind of with the situation, but I just feel like I had to be honest and let you guys know what really went down just because I'm not the only one that this has happened to. I have since seen other people post about the same brand having the same problems with them. I'm just saying, just a little warning out there. This is not supposed to be like an impressions vanity hate video and it's not supposed to cause drama and please do not go back onto their page and like blow them up again. I mean, it's already over and done with, at least for me. I'm just saying, if you guys were planning on placing an order with them, just be a little bit careful because... But tell me why. Tell me why. I ordered a mirror from another company, not Impressions Vanity this time. This time I just ordered a mirror from Wayfair, which you know, Wayfair, very popular furniture company. I've ordered stuff from them before, never really had a problem before. And this mirror was not nearly as big, as heavy, as crazy. It didn't have lights and everything. So when I ordered it, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit like worried because I just had that experience with the broken mirror, but I'm like, this one is easy. Like it shouldn't be a problem. Also, what else am I gonna do? Like they don't sell this type of mirror in stores. The mirror was for Zaya's room because I was still missing like a different mirror that I wanted to put in her little dress up area. And I was specifically looking for like a girly, like intricately shaped, but long mirror with a gold frame. It was like a very specific type of thing I was looking for. Couldn't find it anywhere in stores. Had to order it online, even though I was kind of scared. Didn't want it to be broken. I'm like, it should be fine. Tell me why it got delivered. This is a whole different company. And it was broken. Bro, it's broken! I'm like, really? Really? This is a whole different company, whole different situation, whole different type of mirror. No reason why this one should be broken as well. And it was broken in the same exact way. Like, I'm like, bruh, I just can't win. This is supposed to be a new mirror for your room, but it's broken. The mailman or somebody broke it. Now, I have since gotten in contact with Wayfair. They have pretty good customer service and they responded right away and they're like, we're so sorry, like we're gonna send out a new one, blah, blah, blah. And because this mirror is smaller, it's not gonna be as hard for me to like just get rid of it and the like regular trash, I don't think. So it's not as big of a deal and the replacement is already on its way and luckily, like I said, they have really good customer service so it wasn't like this long drawn out thing. But I was just like, seriously? 
Seriously, another broken mirror, broken in the same exact way. Like, bro, I just can't win. When I tell you literally everything I order, everything I order always has something wrong with it. From every brand that I order from, I just have the worst luck, but I feel stuck because like, how else am I gonna get stuff for my house if I don't order it? Because they don't sell everything in store where you can just go get it yourself. Like, <laughs> I have to order stuff. But in other news, I did get some other finishing touches for Zaya's room. That mirror was supposed to be like the last finishing touch. I'm still waiting on the replacement, but I did get in some new drawer pulls for her dresser. Getting more hip to Amazon and all different things that they have to offer. Amazon Prime came in a couple days, super affordable. I think it was maybe like $30 for a set of 10, so only a couple dollars a piece. But I did a lot of research looking through all the different options because these are heavy, solid metal. And some of the other ones that I saw based on the reviews in the description, they were hollow and people were saying that the quality was not good. They were just super lightweight and hollow and just cheap, but these feel really heavy and sturdy. I have similar ones elsewhere in my house that I ordered from like Wayfair that were more expensive, like $7 a piece. And these feel just as, you know, heavy and good quality. So that's super good. The only thing is when I first opened them, I was like, mm, I'm not so sure about this shade of gold. I always have this issue because there's so many different shades of gold in the world. All over Zaya's room, she honestly has all different shades of gold, but I really just wanted something that was gonna mostly match. Like these hooks that I spray painted gold, I think I'm pretty happy with this color. It's definitely a light yellow gold though. It's not a true brass color, but I think it works. I tried one of them out. All I did to make sure I was getting the right size is measure from hole to hole. You don't wanna just measure the length of the actual bar. You wanna measure from hole to hole. And also too, it's really easy to paint furniture like this too. Like if I, I like the white for anybody at home watching this, if you have a good sturdy dresser, it's really easy and affordable to paint over it, whatever color you want it to be and change out the knobs. And it's like, boom, boom whole new dresser. So I'm just gonna switch all of these out. <laughs> And I also ordered a new rug. The rug is also from Wayfair. It's like a fluffy cloud shaped rug. I thought it would be like a cute little touch just to kind of tie in some of the other cloud moments that she has in her room. Oh, this is nice. Oh wow, this is actually better quality than I was expecting. Okay, let's go see how it looks. You like it? You know what shape that is? Spread it out. Can you tell what it is? A cloud. It's a cloud rug. And it matches with your curtains, but what is the shape it matches with your pillow over here? You have a cloud pillow and you have cloud shelves. <laughs> so everything goes together. Is that pretty? This is like the mama cloud and this is the baby cloud. Yeah. And then the last really exciting thing that I added as the finishing touch to Zaya's room is a new light fixture. So I had my eye on this beaded light fixture from World Market and then also Pottery Barn had one, but those were both like two to $300 and up. And then especially for like the larger size that I wanted, it was like $300 and up. So they're pretty pricey, but I ended up finding basically like a dupe on Amazon. And I was like, this one is actually like, I like this one better. So I ordered the one off of Amazon and I paid someone off of TaskRabbit where you just like the little app where you just hire people to come do little handyman stuff around the house. Paid some one on TaskRabbit to come in and switch it out just so that I wouldn't have to be fooling around with the ceiling fan that was originally in there. I mean, I'm sure it's a pretty easy DIY, but I just didn't want to risk it with my luck. So the TaskRabbit was super helpful. Took the ceiling fan down, put the light fixture up, and I think it is the perfect touch. Zaya never uses her ceiling fan. I don't use my ceiling fan in my bedroom either. We're just not, we're not hot natured people. We're cold natured, so there's really no 
use in having a ceiling fan in there anyway and it was ugly and taken away from the vibe of the room but I think this new light fixture is the perfect little cute girly touch and I really like it because obviously it's white so it matches all the other white stuff but the beaded aspect to it I feel like kind of plays off of the trim on her bed skirt which has like the little pom-poms on it and also the actual railing on her bed kind of has like little circles on it as well so I feel like all of that kind of like ties in it's like a similar shape same color I just think it's really really cute and I'm super happy with it so I will definitely link that light fixture from Amazon down below for you guys if you're interested but I did do something that I'm also excited about I created another painting for in here in the living room I don't know if you guys can see the little painting that I made last time peeking out behind me over in the dining area I showed you guys in the last video how I did that DIY painting it's a restoration hardware dupe the actual painting from restoration hardware was almost five thousand dollars so I just tried to make my own and I was actually pleasantly surprised with how it turned out so I was like you know what I'm gonna do another one because there was another empty space over here in the living room above the console table that I had really wanted something to put up there and you guys know I've been through a lot of trial and error with like trying to do the DIY painting but since I kind of like mastered this technique I wanted to do a similar one so for this painting I followed the same technique as the other one like I said in the other video basically using some spackle to create texture on a canvas and then painting on top of the spackle to make it look like the paint itself is really thick like oil paint or something like that so I'm using the same just simple black and white color scheme I did the texture I painted the bottom half black and the top half white and then I went over it with more spackle in the middle just to add some dimension and I left that just the plain color of the spackle Cool. So yeah, I'm actually really happy with how this painting turned out. I'm surprised with myself that I was able to like do it all in one day, like one try, because in the past, every time I try to make something, I end up hating it and like redoing it and going over it and redoing it and just freaking out. But this time I felt confident with my idea. I felt confident with my technique. I had a vision, I had a plan and it really came to life. And I feel like it really looks like my Pinterest board. I have a whole Pinterest board of like art inspiration. I'll put some pictures on the screen here. And I really feel like my painting actually like fits in with my inspiration. It looks pretty legit. So I'm really proud of myself. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm like looking at it over here, admiring it because I'm just like, wow, I did that. It's my own art in my own house. Okay, you guys, so it's a few days later from that last clip and I wanted to kind of give you basically an updated house tour overview of the entire house i get a lot of questions here comes bougie i get a lot of questions about like when am i going to do a finished house tour when am i going to show you know all the rooms completely done so i just kind of wanted to give you guys an overview of like okay here's where i'm really at in the process i do have some additional updates to show you guys in the living room also in zaya's room guess what her mirror actually came so i can show you guys that and i did actually go shopping yesterday but just to start off down here in the main area this is the entryway really nothing has changed there's really nothing in here there's nothing on the walls there definitely still needs to be stuff added you know artwork on the walls and things like that this little area over here is now just kind of a clutter space catch-all for rejected plants I guess that I just didn't really have a certain spot to put them so they ended up here this is not this is not what I want this to be. This is just like clutter. But I really want something very grandiose right here, like a big giant plant or a statue or something cool just to kind of fill up this um, little area where the stairs curve. This is the glam room. It's always a mess in here. You know, you guys have seen all the videos where I've set this up and organized and reorganized and added more organization stuff in here but it's always a mess because this is a workspace it's not meant to just be a room that just sits here and looks cute all the time it's a room that I actually use to get ready clearly I just got ready just now so this it's it's always a mess honestly 
um, and there's always like random stuff in here from different projects and PR packages and stuff that you guys send me in my PO box. This really isn't anything <laughs> nice to look at. I have all my equipment, lights, backdrops, whatever is going on at the time. Then we have the powder room, which is supposed to be more of a cute room. This is the bathroom that guests use when they come over. So that's why I did like the really nice tile in here when I built the house. And I had planned on making this kind of like an accent bathroom, you know, something different, something cute. So I do really want to do like some sort of paint color to kind of, you know, go with the floors or even like a wallpaper or something, not like a printed wallpaper, but maybe like a, a wallpaper that has a little bit of a texture or a metallic or a shine to it or something. I don't know. But yeah, here it is with the light on so you guys can see a little bit better. All I have is this random ladder in here, which just kind of got put in here because I didn't know where else to put it in the house. This little thing of roses. And I do have this decorative mirror, which I ended up putting in here because I didn't like the little plain mirror that came with the house. But anyways, moving on. So then we have my office, which is a hot mess and I hate it and this is gonna be one of the next spaces that I actually like put a lot of time and effort into decorating because I really want my office to be super super cute and I have a lot of ideas I really want like a mature pink theme so kind of like playing off of these chairs that I have in here which I'm not even sure if I'm gonna keep these chairs but I do like the color of these chairs how it's like a mature shade of pink like not bubblegum pink not Barbie pink but definitely want to do an accent wall back here and artwork and I definitely want to include this guy and I think this artwork into the gallery wall and just have it be like real glam and eclectic and you know, not at all going with the modern farmhouse vibe or the neutral vibe of the rest of the house. My office is gonna be like a fun, funky space. Not keeping this chair at all. I am keeping this desk. This is a newer desk that I got. I have to get more furniture, like bookshelves to add on either side of the desk. I wanna have like a cool chandelier light fixture in here, like just a really just boss girl fashionista glam vibes in here. We need a rug, we need a lot of stuff. This is just, no. How it is right now, absolutely not. So then we go into the living room, which now has some new items in it, a few new little pieces. Of course, I already told you guys earlier in the video about the new artwork that I created, but I do have some new accessories here now. So like I said, I ended up going shopping. So here is the haul of everything that I got just from at home, just that one store. It had been a while since I went shopping for home decor in store, obviously with all the stores closing and they're finally opening back up. So I went and I got all this stuff just from at home. I feel like I got super lucky, found a lot of cute stuff. So I wanted to go ahead and add this in to the end of the video to the house tour and show you guys how I ended up setting everything up. So I played around a bit with all the new pieces that I got from at home, starting with this sculptural piece. It's white with like some gold accent to it put that on the console table, played around with a few different arrangements along with a new teardrop shaped vase. I also got this white bowl, but then I also got this gold like triangular bowl. And then I also got these moss balls. So I was just playing around with a lot of different configurations to see what I liked best. And I ended up landing on this, but deciding that I needed a taller plant here. So I found this fake plant that I had elsewhere in the house and put that there. And this was the finished look, at least for now. So yeah, I really like how this is turning out now. I think it's coming together nicely. I am still missing, you know, the two ottomans that I wanna put under here. And it can always be changed and, you know, add more stuff to it. Definitely not complete yet, but I like how it's coming together now. And then if you kind of swing over here, you just have the fireplace and TV, nothing has changed. I definitely feel like something needs to go right here, whether that be a plant or something like that. And then you have the cabinet over here, which I am making progress with adding to my white ceramic collection of white vases and things that I wanted to just have all white objects in this cabinet. I don't know, that's just the idea that I have. I like it so far. I added this new vase that I got from at home. So it's starting to look a little bit more filled up, 
but we definitely have some empty space and this can always be improved upon as well. I also really think it would be really nice to have something on top of the cabinet. I've seen a lot of people do that just because the ceilings are so high in here, it would be nice to draw your eye up even higher. So that's kind of that, everything going on with kind of what's against the walls in the living room and then in the middle, of course, we have my same sofa and coffee table, which you guys have seen. And now we just have this new little accessory besides Bougie who thinks he is an accessory. But this little moment going on on top of the coffee table just to add some interest. I wasn't sure out of all the stuff that I bought what I wanted to go on the coffee table. I played around with a few different ideas, but I landed on this for now. So that's what it looks like from this view. And of course you have the kitchen, which, you know, nothing really has changed in the kitchen. I really like the all white with black details, sleek, clean look of my kitchen. I never really planned on adding a lot of like extra decor to it because I just want it to look very clean and open. I do have a few like accessories that have already been there, like those vases there and the stuff that is up inside of those glass cabinets, but I've had that for a while. So I'm happy with how the kitchen is looking. And then you go into the dining area, which has, you know, my latest addition from last time was my painting here that I'm still really happy with and really proud of my first successful painting. Um, so like I said before, definitely check out my previous episode if you wanna see the process of me making that. Um, but the new addition here is this on the table these two wooden bowls with the moss inside of it this is a restoration hardware dupe essentially this is something that i always see in their showroom and in their catalogs and i just felt like i needed a nice like centerpiece moment on the table so i started off with one of these bowls and it just looked a little too small like not enough on the table so i actually went back to at home and bought another one of the same bowl just to kind of fill up the space a little bit more and i ended up going to michael's and buying two packs of this moss and then i had the idea to fill up the bowl mainly with just some crumpled up paper to help take up space and not have to use as much moss and then just put the moss on top and i really liked the way that this ended up working out and looking again it looks like my inspiration from restoration hardware i really did not end up liking the super perfect moss balls that i showed earlier that i got from at home i actually ended up returning those because they just looked kind of weird to me i much prefer just the loose moss i'm still thinking like should i get a table runner to go underneath it should i have like more going on on the table i don't know but this is just kind of what i have for now so far i'm really liking how this little area is coming together with the natural gray wood tone and then kind of the off-white the black the greenery the brass you know all the whole color scheme working together and i get a lot of questions about my fiddly fig tree over here people always ask me where it's from because i think they think it's fake but this is actually a real live fiddle leaf fig tree that I have kept alive surprisingly for about a year now. I don't know how, cause I don't really have a green thumb. I mean, it's not the healthiest tree in the world. There's definitely some spots on it, but it's alive. It's mostly green. So I'm like super proud of this. And I definitely want to add more big plants like this all throughout the house. This is what it looks like with the lights on over here, by the way, cause I feel like I never really show that. And this is what it looks like with all the lights on in this whole living room kitchen area. My lights are definitely warm toned, but they're like, not easily changeable light bulbs, just with the type of lighting that I have, they're supposed to kind of be just in there and they're kind of like a hassle to change, so I haven't changed them. Um, normally I have like cooler toned light bulbs, but I mean, I guess it kind of adds like a bit of warmth, a bit of coziness to the space. The ones up there are the ones that kind of bother me the most because it definitely has a yellow hue. I also wanted to show you guys my bedroom, even though there's really no update in here. Um, it's just, if you guys have not seen my last videos and you're just kind of wondering what the progress is looking like, not too much progress. I mean, we're still in the same spot. I left off with putting these mirrors on the wall, I think, or maybe I got the chair after that and the table over there. I mean, I have all my main furniture in here, all the like matching pieces, chair, table, nightstands, and these beautiful mirrors, which I'm really happy with. Of course, the bed frame or whatever, but the bedding, 
<laughs> this is just random bedding pretty much. Definitely needs work. The accessorizing, I mean, for accessories right now, I have a blue Kleenex box. So definitely still need lamps and I obviously need artwork to go in between here like this is just empty yeah there is so much that still needs to be added in here it's got all the main furniture but other than that it's like a blank slate and it still needs a lot more stuff but i don't know y'all it's hard to find the perfect stuff so yeah nothing much has changed in the bedroom and honestly nothing much has changed in the bathroom here's a little refresher in case people don't know what my master bathroom looks like. Definitely still unfinished as well. I'm just trying to narrow in on the last little finishing touches and accessories. I did add this little gold tray. It's not like a wow factor or anything, but I like the idea of having something right there and having another element of brass in here to coordinate with the drawer pulls and the little aspects on the lights. I've been wanting to bring in more like gold into the bathroom to tie everything together. So. You know, I do wish that this was like a little bit bigger, a little bit longer, and I feel like I keep noticing that every time I bring something into the house, I'm like, this looks smaller than I expected in the space. So yeah, not too sure what I'm gonna end up putting in that tray or if it's even gonna end up staying there, but I'm just trying to add in more of that gold element, like I said. I think I mentioned before how I wanna change out this shower door for something that actually matches better because I really hate this silver, like basic shower door. So a like black iron framed door would be really nice. And yeah, I already showed you guys my closet earlier in the video. Another thing I really want over here in the entryway by the front door or above the front door, I have this little architectural moment where it's got like a platform and a window and I've seen in other houses that have a similar thing where they put like really big, what do you call it? Pots or some sort of something up there to kind of draw your eye up there. And then we have the laundry room, which is Bougie's room. Nothing has changed here either. I do still wanna add more cuteness in here. I have just random stuff sitting here that I don't even know why it's sitting here, but you know, then we have my rejected artwork sitting here. I mean, it's all still pretty much the same you guys have seen it but i do have like this whole empty wall space up here that i could do something with and like i mentioned in the last video wanting to do some sort of built-ins tabletop situation over the actual washer and dryer also if you guys are newer to my channel and have not seen all my other videos you may not have even seen much of this room which is the llama office we call it the llama office because it's got a big old llama in here as well as two little llamas a mama and a baby llama this is the mini office which is where my mom my little sister my other personal assistant that i had this is where the rest of the raven elise tv squad works so it's really just a workspace, but we try to make it, you know, kind of cute with the green chair and everything and some little accessories. So definitely it looks a little bit junky because of all the like computer wires and printer and shredder and everything like that. But you know, it's got some cute little details in here that we tried to add to jazz it up. And this room kind of just is what it is. It's pretty much finished, I would say. I wasn't really planning on adding or changing anything to this room just because it is just a workspace and it's mostly always closed off anyway. So then going up the stairs, we of course have Zaya's playroom. She's in here playing right now. Um, there's also a lot that I wanna do to this room to just kind of pull it together more and make it cuter. Hello, Zaya. Uh, but we have made progress. You guys have seen the chalkboard. Hopefully you guys saw that video where I showed how we did this chalkboard. I've since added these little things which are actually recycled from her original nursery back in the old, old apartment just to kind of hold the chalk and the magnets and stuff. Um, but yeah, you guys have seen the playhouse. Y'all seen everything in here. Nothing really else has been added. I kind of switched this area up a little bit, but yeah, it just looks still unfinished, of course, and I'm still trying to figure out what all else I want to add. And then of course we have Zaya's room, which I'm so excited I can actually show you guys the final finished look pretty much. And 
we have the mirror now earlier in the video i was so upset about this and then it got delivered literally today just in time for me to include this in the video i'm super happy with it it's a gold kind of foiled effect on the frame and it's just a better size and a better height for this space i feel like we still mounted it a little bit low down just because you know Zaya is four um so maybe eventually she might want to raise it up or something but this is what it is looking like for now to kind of um complete the dress up station of her room so yeah overall this is what her room is looking like i'm super happy with how it has turned out and i'm much happier with where we have landed now versus kind of like what we started with originally for those of you guys who saw like that other video where we had something totally different going on in here i think this is much better i think this came together perfectly zaya loves it she's super happy with it she's like i have a princess room and there's so much pink and she loves it and she came in today and she was like oh my god i love my new mirror so that's the most important thing and that makes me super happy you guys saw in this video that i switched out the drawer pool so now the dresser area is looking real nice we've got the new light fixture of course that i showed you guys which just kind of coordinates with everything else Else, and I'm just super happy with it. I think it's super cute in here. All the different cloud elements kind of scattered around. And then here's with the light off. If I kind of let some natural light in here, cause things look really different with, um, you know, the warm tone light bulbs versus like natural light. No matter how I try, I feel like I can't give y'all the full effect through the camera. I wish everybody could just come over to my house and see it in person, especially Zaya's room. Cause her room, I'm like super proud of it, honestly, because I put a lot of work into it and now it's finally done. But yeah, here you can kind of see more of an accurate representation of all the colors and everything. And I just love it, it's so cute and girly. So if you guys have any questions about where anything is from, I have, you know, all my previous videos that I documented everything and I linked stuff in the description box. And I will also have stuff linked in the down bar on my website where you can shop my home and shop each individual room and get links to everything. And then we have Zaya's bathroom, which I feel like you guys get to see this. It looks so yellow in here with the light on hopefully the camera can kind of adjust to the true color but um, I feel like you guys get to see this a lot in the vlogs and stuff like that and nothing really has changed she just has all her little pink accessories pink rug pink shower curtain pink towels and then like little hints of gold with some of the hardware like the hooks and stuff like that it's not just the whole pink shower curtain it has gold and white white not really color yeah, you're right. It's pink, gold, and white. And that is the color scheme of this whole bathroom right now. And I like it. And I think it's a start, but definitely I think it can be zhuzhed up a little bit. She has kind of like her sparkly countertops and the little crystal knobs. But I think switching out this mirror for something really girly, even like a sparkly border around it or something like that, just cause this is just the plain mirror that came with the house. Even this light up here, could maybe be something cuter. And I'm even considering painting the walls in here a really, really light pink or some sort of wallpaper or something just to make this like a full out pink princess bathroom to kind of like coordinate with her room. We have the guest room, which is another space that I like never show. It's not much to show. This is basically a recreation of my old bedroom. The blanket's all messed up. Nobody ever comes in here, of course, unless I have actual guests over, which I haven't had guests over in a long time due to everything going on in the world and whatnot. But this has all the old stuff in it that used to be in my old bedroom in my townhome, along with like this piece of artwork that I didn't really love enough to put anywhere else in the house and just like random old stuff. So it's definitely not decorated. It's just kind of almost like a junkyard <laughs> in a sense. And I do really want this room to be nice. Like I want it to be a nice little getaway for my guests. So this is another room that I definitely want to give a complete makeover to. And then you have the guest bathroom, which you know, 
I just try to keep it clean and simple in here. I mean, again, I could do something really fun and random in here just to kind of switch it up just because. So yeah, you guys, those are basically all the updates that I have to share with you for now. Again, I'm sorry that this video might not be like super exciting with super big changes, but I've just been kind of distracted recently and obviously not having very good luck with ordering stuff. So I've been kind of like discouraged. I don't know what's going on, but hopefully I can get a lot of these spaces, you know, finished and get a lot of these projects projects done. I also still have to do my whole like outdoor landscaping. I'm thinking about getting a pool. It's a lot going on. You guys should definitely follow my Raven's Dream Home Home Decor Instagram page. That is where I post a lot of updates as they happen if you want to get like the sneak peeks. And that is also where I've been talking a lot about what I plan to do out in the backyard. I think that's everything I have to share for now. Let me know what you think of all the new additions in the comments down below. Let me know if you have any suggestions for stuff that I should do or add. I'm always open to your suggestions and feedback. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.